Uh, hi, I'm Craig Batchelor, 26, um, from Dundee. Um, I'm a trainee quantity surveyor, um, as a day job, um, and I'm a striker for Montrose. Well, I say I played junior football since I was maybe 17, 18 year old, um, and a couple of good seasons last year, and I uh, was fortunate enough to come up and train with the squad um, towards January last year, um, and then got uh, offered a contract in the summer, so here we are. So, and in terms of just the step step up from juniors, what's that been like? Yeah, it's good. It's it's a lot more challenging. Um, obviously fitness wise, uh, the pace of the game and so on. But um, yeah, it's took a bit of getting used to, but thoroughly enjoyed the challenge and uh, obviously still learning and we'll continue to do so throughout. Like that. Uh, well, I'll tell you, it's not nothing uh, overly exciting for the viewers, but um, no, it's just quantity surveyor. So I'm just work on a building site um, in the office day to day. Um, Say I wouldn't go too in depth into the job because um, you know there's a lot to it and so on. So mm -hmm. um, and then apart from that, I just sort of go home at night, like to relax. Um, obviously training two two nights a week, so that's taking up a couple of nights. But other than that, there's nothing overly exciting uh, from me to be honest with you. It's quite quite dull. But, but you, in the day that you're you're asp you're aspiring to be, you know, yeah. perfect, you know, work, you know, be playing that's in the Scottish leagues, really, yeah. isn't it? Be the best you can be, hundred percent. That's everyone's aspiration. I believe that you always want to be the best version of yourself. So very, very much so. Who's been a positive influence that's led you, like you say, led you to here? Um, so I've had managers over my time. I've had family members and so on that have uh, obviously influenced me in a positive way, whether that be through football or you know other forms of influence. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's really the main things, and there's probably far too many people to name uh, would be here all night listening to me. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Family and managers I've had over the years um, that have led me to where I am and all the learning processes and things. So I'm, I'm thankful for, for all these people I've met through my time uh, in the world that. What, what do you do just to switch off? Um, I like to just go out on walks uh, at night time, um, sort of go in and have tea and things. And then later on at night, I like to go out and sort of a walk when it's a bit quieter to unwind from, you know, maybe a busy day at work or training or so on. So that's what I like to do to relax um, and sort of unwind, so to speak. That's, that's really me, nothing else. In terms of unwinding or relaxing, is there any type of music? What's on your playlist that you might listen to? Ah, so a wee bit of everything on my playlist, to be fair. You've got, you've got a bit of dance, you've got a bit of current music. I don't know what the genre that is, to be fair. But uh, yeah, there's a wee bit of everything if you go on my playlist. You'll get a mixture down there, so. Nothing we'll hear it on match days? No, probably not. No, <laughs> no probably not. <laughs> Movies, so, well, say, well, do you, is there any one that you want to unwind to, or are you quite open-minded? Uh, I've watched... I tend to watch Goodwill Hunting quite a lot. I quite like that film. Uh, that's one of my, my go-tos that I enjoy to watch. But I'm putting us on the spot here with some of these questions. But, uh, yeah, no, that's that's really the probably one I really enjoy that film. So I've watched that numerous times. But and in terms of like, say you go out for what just on wine, but has there been holidays or places where you've just you've been to that you that stand out or you'd like to go to? Um, loads of places I like to go to. Um, I'd like to go and visit America. I've never done that. Um, it's one of the places I'd like to go. And New Zealand is a big one on my list um, at the minute. So I'd like to go to these places and just experience the everything it's got to offer. So um, yeah, they're they're the two big places that I'd like to visit. Um, Man of nature. Yeah, that's it. Boys, yeah. Um, funny guys. Um, who have we got? We've got Bruni. Craig, he's funny, good laugh. Um, who else is a good guy? Laugh and dressing room. You put me on the spot here with us. Take your time. Got Winker. Winker's a good laugh. Um, he's a good laugh in the dressing room. Yeah, probably say they two are the. Um, and Midge. Midge is a good laugh in the dressing room as well. So you've got the three of them. In terms of who be the DJ? DJ is always Bruni. Bruni's a DJ all the time. So that's just the thing. That's set that one. <laughs> Who would be the TV movie star? Oh, TV movie star? Kerr. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be the uh, entrepreneur? Who's Who's got the big idea? Who's got the big idea? That's a tough one, that. Um, what about Kami? Kami the goalie. The sensible guy. <laughs> Um, in terms of who's the um, the wise man, who would you go for life advice? For life advice, um, 
Who would I go to for life advice? Probably Winks. Probably Winker. Um, in terms of who's the future manager of a successful Scottish team? A future manager? Uh, Steve Z. <laughs> Andy Steves. <laughs> and last of all, what would you like to say to the supporters? Um, just, I hope I can sort of break into the team and start showing what, um, what I can do and so on. So, um, and I hope the club will want to have a fantastic season as the last couple of results have picked up. So long may that continue and uh, see what the end of the season brings. Eh?